Okay. Even though I'm still talking to you, just keep it rolling. Hey, Blue Table fans! <laughs> you know, I probably... Who am I kidding? I probably won't even bother to edit all that out. So, um... Let's take a look at some Forge World stuff. Uh, this came in. By the way, if you ever get Forge World... Oh, now you can come on in. See, I told you one thing, now it's another thing. Come closer, closer. Okay, stop. Um, that, that's the zoom on this camera, is actually move up closer. Whoa! Um, if you ever order from Forge World, make sure you get it express. Get the 250 pound limit. Pound meaning gold British pounds. So what do we got here? We have uh, one of those Hive Tyrants. The Forge World one. Still, uh, still holding its own against the, um, the metal version. And some people like the... Um, the uh, lighter resin, so that's kind of a toughie. And uh, here's a Hive Tyrant with wings. Check out these wings, they're huge. Another option is to get Balrog wings directly from Games Workshop. They sell them in a uh, $10 kit, so there's those. But these are very Tyranid-y, and so, you know, if you have the wherewithal, those are definitely good um, Tyranid wings. Oh, and here's another winged Hive Tyrant. That's good. And let's take a look. What do we got here? Ah, Death Core of Creek. These are uh, grenadiers. Uh, really nothing to show here. Aha! Here's what you want. This is an Imperial Guard Malkador Infernus. So, in case you didn't have enough uh, Imperial Guard stuff. So, let's take a look. This looks like one of those things where it's like... Um, like it's a complete kit, is it? Yeah, I think it is. There you go. So... It's about the size of the side track, so it's longer than a regular Lehman Russ. Here's the body. Uh, you always get these huge things of resin on the side. So I wonder what the story there is. I'm sure someone can tell us. So here's the other tracks. And let's look at the gun on this thing. Isn't this great? Now that's a heavy flamer. <laughs> it's like, watch out, I've got my flamer. That's not a flamer. That's not how it says. How, it says. how do you say that in an Australian accent? That's not a flamer. Yeah. This is a flamer. Right? A little closer? That's Did you say? Better. Yeah, the other one was like I was on a Beatles <laughs> video or something like that. No, so, <laughs> right. <laughs> Freshen up your tea. Yeah, that's what they say and do over in uh, England, I'm sure. <laughs> right now there's like a hundred English people going. <laughs> well, I don't know. For all I know, that's like a dirty... Uh, hand gesture in England, right? That I just, I fli I flipped somebody off somewhere in the world. They're like, oh, the mothers are like covering their children's eyes. You never do this in public. So, uh, and if it's not, I'm making it. That's officially a dirty gesture in uh, Gately land now. That's how you flip someone off. So anyway, um, what was the other thing? Yeah, I, already, I already talked about the thing in in Chile, where I was accidentally flipping people off with a hand gesture that is otherwise innocent. Anyway, more stuff to come today. Yeah, yeah you can turn. Hey, so I want to show you something else. This is an order we got in today, and it doesn't look like very much, but I want you to appreciate, appreciate, appreciate the gravity of the situation. Seven by five by two. That is 70 boxes. The retail on those I think is about 30. So 70 times 30 is $2,100 retail sitting right here. And same thing for each of these other stacks. This is probably actually a little bit more. Uh, but I picked up all this stuff for conversion work. And um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but you shall see. You shall see in the coming weeks. So these are Dasiatis clones, which are models that I've always absolutely loved. Got a ton of Therians over here, including these. These models are really neat. By the way, all this is out of print now. So check these guys out, these little ball things. These are Storm Arrakens, which are like these living mines. And I just absolutely just love these things. They are really super neat. So, uh, and this is, this is all fodder for conversions. Here's Undead from the Rams. Look at these vampires. Not too bad, not too bad looking. And uh, I think those would make great uh, fell bats. Those are really super neat. 
Got these uh, army boxes here. Let's see what's in here. Legion of the Damned Ram. <laughs> I just, to open this box, I'm like, hey, Shannon, toss me a knife. And I'm like, oh, boy, that's, uh, that's famous last words. And Shannon's like, don't threaten me with a good time. All right, so check these bad girls out. God, what a great kit. There's these things, little flying guys. I don't even, oh, look at those wings. They're kind of translucent. It's actually pretty cool. Hold on. So you went down there looking for bins, and they only managed to squeeze out one bin for you. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, oh, check this guy out. He's like on a 40 millimeter base. That's huge. I'm thinking blood letter champion. That's what I'm thinking when I look at this. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. Could be almost be like a demon prince. That's why I'm keen on use any range for anything you want. You got these skeleton warriors. Oh, these like black paladins. These things are neat. Great figs. I love that shield with like the moaning face on it. Oh. Alright, and then these things, these little pieces of terrain. So that's that's a deal. That'll be fun for Warhammer Fantasy. By the way, I set dates for the Warhammer Fantasy Valhalla thing. And it uh, looks like we just have some other guys down here. More skeleton warriors. These big guys. God, these would be great for role-playing games. Man, I want to play D&D so bad right now. Yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, well, I think that's about it. Hey, guess what we just got in? Cookies by cookie. <laughs> so, apparently, if you... I think this is my new thing. And you want to know why? It's because... I'm shaving with something new these days. Yep. Actually, shaving lotion? The, um, no, 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 no. It's the, uh, <laughs> okay, first five items can't be said in public. No, seriously, though, I'm shaving with glycerin soap. Old-timey, just old-fashioned glycerin soap. And I'm just telling you, it works great. No razor burn. It's ultra smooth. Like, because you shave with other things, you shave and shave, and you just can't quite get rid of the last part of the stubble. But glycerin soap, it works. It works great. So anyway, hey, now that we've talked about me shaving... Let's talk about food! Hey! So Cookies by Cookie makes awesome cookies, and I'm excited. Death by Chocolate. We have not had these before. I'm very excited. To okay. That That's all i found so far. Right. Let's see if there's any other ones. Different chocolate. types. Like well, death bed. by chocolate, that'd be fine. I think, yeah. What's no, wrong with fine. a giant wad of death by chocolate? Well, usually we just get an assortment, but it's death by right. chocolate. It's so all around. It is all chocolate. All right, well, yeah. there you go. Great. And, uh, Thank you. But, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> these were slated for Valhalla, but they didn't, they made it like the day after. So there you go. But that's okay. We're still going to eat them, and it's going to be fun, and you'll be, uh, you'll be a part. That's a whole herd of clones. Loving those clones. This is about a third. We're a third the way through. Hey, Zana. Hi, Sean. Have you been on film? No. Yet here? Oh, okay. Well, I'd like everyone to meet Zana. Zana is, uh, has proven herself as a member of the crew, and that is really no mean feat. Okay, go ahead. What do you want me to do? Well, how did you start, and what did you work on, and the thing? Um. I worked on orcs forever until like just the other day. Right. And Valhalla? how many orcs did you paint? I have no idea. For Valhalla. A lot. Uh, I'm going to tell you it's 8,000 points. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> That's all she did for quite a number of weeks is paint orcs and orc vehicles and stompas and giant tanks. So what are you working on now? Um, it's an awesome Silver thing. Knights. All right. That's awesome. They're These are Forge World yeah. figures. Sort of a gothic theme. Oh, go, go ahead. Did you have something else to say? Nope. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay, great. Yeah, so these are Thunderfire Cannons, is what those stand in for. Oh, also, I noticed you commandeered the Demon of the Unhappiness Lamp. Well, that guy, I just set him on your desk one day, just because he was in the way, right? And now what? Well, he's my friend now. Yep. The Demon of Unhappiness is your friend. Let's just put both of those things <laughs> together. Uh, but I don't know, maybe he's bringing you good luck. Because you're, you're doing good. Xana, do good. Yeah. Yeah, that's getting old. <laughs> All right, so 
like for the first week, I would hum Xanadu whenever. Cause, and it wasn't mocking or anything. It was just that that was the song. You know, Xanadu, Xanadu. You know, you need to get out your leg warmers and four-wheeled skates for that. So always a good time. All right. So anything else to say? No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I have to say is sorry. There you go. Boy, that backlight really uh, makes you look like a shadow. It's a beautiful day today. All right, hey, thanks a lot, Zana. I'll be putting you on the spot more in the future. Oh, great. So, we're, we're going through the jungle. Oh, there's a big one. We better be quiet. Or he, <laughs> what? My, you know, I got all my accents mixed up. I can't do the Australian accent. We got to be quiet. <laughs> what accent is that even? We got to be quiet. That, no, it's Mexican accent. It's the, it's the Mexican Stefano, el hombre de la selva. Estamos acercándonos a un animal bien grande y bien peligroso. El pintador rojo. All right. What are you working on, Stead? I am working on ogres. Awesome. And these are gray skinned. Actually, that is kind of the normal thing. You know what? You're really not working on anything very exciting right now. Hey, that's not my fault. Can you give us a piece of exciting news? Um, piece of exciting news? No. By the way, this is what Jason drinks every day. <laughs> well, not every we day. We expect I'm, him I'm to die back. soon. I'm, uh, I'm going, oh, you're I'm going only... back to the can now. Okay. Although this is the elixir Good of life, you. by the way. Is it? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Drink of the gods. Ambrosia. So when are you going to uh, interview your Indian friend? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll have to track him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a hard one to pin down. He is. Also, All right. I heard he was in Bali. Yep. Yeah. He, I think he may have taken off. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Jason. Sure. Hey, there she is. You were, gay. You were making yourself scarce. So, oh, no. Here comes Sean with the camera. Let's pretend I'm talking on the phone. Hi. It's like hey. Table, man. Long time what no what are you working on? I am going to be working on um, Night Lords. Night Lords, which are blue. Are blue, but wrong blue. So we're going to change the color and make it nice blue. Thanks. All right, we're here with uh, Jaime. Hola. We're doing uh, Mexican names, Latin American names, I should say. Latino. Yeah. I don't think my name works. What, Ren? Ren. I don't like that. His Renaldo. Name is, his name is Renaldo. <laughs> <laughs> in, 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 in Spanish hey. class, my Spanish name was Renato. Renato? Hey, hey, that's in, great. In Spanish class, when I was in high school, my Spanish name was Cheech. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I had one, too. What was yours, Greg? No, I, I didn't you didn't have? Mine, mine was Ariel, ah. which apparently is a boy's name, possibly. Well, not only was I taking Spanish, there's a reason why <laughs> I, I think quit it Spanish is. class. Yeah. I took right. German and Spanish to nice. like yeah. one right after the other, really? so I was... Confused? Kind of. <laughs> and then I had English in the morning, too, so that really confused the crap out of me. <laughs> Three languages your little teenage brain couldn't handle. Yeah! All right, so anyway, All right. what are you working on today? We've got this some micro different. armor. Um, this stuff is really cool. We've got the catalog here that has some, some cool pictures, and this stuff is only nine ninety five a blister, mm -hmm. which seems actually pretty decent. All of these figs come in one fig. This is or one, one uh, blister. blister. Really? This is the, uh, the modern infantry. modern that is Russian so infantry. Small. That's a uh, ten millimeter scale. It must be one to two eighty five. So it's uh, that means it's roughly one two hundred eighty fifth of a man size. Yep. So two hundred eighty five of those head to toe stacked up would be as tall as you. Right. Right. Or so Ren or you. What is that? So a six foot man. Hold on. Let's do the math here. Let's do math. It's no. I'm gonna do. This. The, you're you're grimacing, but I'm gonna do this in my head. Here we go. So a man is six foot tall, times twelve inches per foot, right. seventy two inches. Right. Seventy two goes into two eighty five about four times. Mm -hmm. Right. And I just completely did that wrong. <laughs> yep. Hey, That's Sean, right. You should try doing that again, but not stupid. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yep. So much for mental math. So what else? All right, so we've got some tanks here. We've got a, a hind. And then hind some artillery here that we're going to do. And uh, actually, Ren and I are not only... No, I got it. I got it. Now, witness, this is only 30 seconds later. It's 72 inches 
So into a, uh, four times into 285 means it's a quarter of an inch is how tall a guy is in this scale. Sean wasn't listening to what you just said. What? Yeah. Right. Everything I just said went over Sean's head because he was doing the math. <laughs> well, I'm head. always doing that. You guys should know that by now. You know, people that, uh, that get to know me really yeah. well can actually look at my face and tell the moment I glaze over. I test this on my wife. I'm like, okay, tell me when I'm glazing over. She's like, right now. I'm like, yeah. Okay, now let's, let's, the comparison here. There is okay, go Flames ahead. of War fig. Flames of War. And 40K. Okay. So a guy's an inch tall. A guy is like About ha just half under an half an inch. Yep. And then this is guy is a quarter inch. I actually think it's less than that. It looks, They yeah. don't look a quarter inch. Well, these guys are kneeling too, I think. Let's, right, let's we're, measure we're solve here. this Not once and guy. for all. Those guys aren't. Actually, this is a quarter inch kneeling is a quarter. It? Okay. Yeah. All right. So there you go. I'll be darned. Oh. So a man is a quarter inch tall in ten millimeters, uh. approximately. Pew, 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 pew. Uh. Actually, a man is ten millimeters tall in ten millimeter scale. So that, but that's what one two hundred eighty fifth is. We're right. so mature, right, Chance? We are. So if you're playing a miniatures battles game where the scale is one to one, that's probably going to be pretty expensive. So you, Meaning the miniature will be six feet tall for a man. Yeah. So at that point, would it be LARPing? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's LARPing. LARPing is miniatures to scale one to one. one, to one. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Are we done here? Because I think I've really lost interest. Okay, thanks a lot. Rin is uh, doing research. I don't think it's going to be interesting enough. It is. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll decide. All right. So, the fans are probably desperate after five days of nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> the glossing over thing, my uh, um, wife called me on it once after a prayer when uh, I told a joke right afterward. She's like, uh, what, what did they say in the prayer, Brigham? <laughs> uh, she totally called me out the entire, <laughs> the entire time I've been, <laughs> I've just been preparing a stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And while you were telling me that story, I was actually thinking about this Eldar Hornet. Yeah. That's awesome, by the way. Do we Dark have a regular Eldar, Eldar tank um, to uh, do? No. We have a whole well, yeah, well, But assembled. can I just tell you the problem is that's $40 for this thing. I think they're about $40. It looks cool to so, me. I mean, they're awesome. So here's a regular yep. Eldar tank. So there's your size comparison. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> just, come on, guys. Quit it. All right, all right. Some so here's things. your Astrobel Vect figure. So what is the base figure on that? Is it an uh, Archon? An Incubus. An Incubus. God, that is amazing. That is outside. I love and I, the head is perfect. Yeah, I thought you'd like that head. Yeah. Because it's a. Uh, he is bare, decked but out. It's still got detail. Yeah, and with to it. the uh, height he gets from his uh, base there. I was going to say platform shoes, but <laughs> Dark Eldar really... His moon boots. They all have... They open their closet, and there's like 40 pairs of platform shoes. <laughs> so, in my world, Dark Eldar are self-conscious about their height. So anyway, yeah, for the next Valhalla, the plan is to um, replace the orcs with Dark Eldar and redo key elements of terrain, so that's really going to be quite, quite a feat between now and then. But... We shall see. It may, be, it may still be orcs. Okay, by the way, Paul, who you can't see yet because I don't want you to get emotionally attached, he is, the, I think, the first person to not take the cue to end the video. But he just kept rolling because he remembered at the beginning I said, no matter what happens, keep it rolling. <laughs> right? Like, I'll get up the next morning and I'll be like, why is my camera still on?